Atlantic Division battle. The Nets on the road looking for a season high. Fourth straight win away from home, taking on the Celtics. And look at that. Some off-season work by Patrick Chung of the New England Patriots. Rajon Rondo amidst all the trade rumors, taking on the Nets. Paul Pierce having to step up as Ray Allen sitting this one out, feeling ill. We go the other side to Darren Williams. The driving layup off the window and the foul. But D. Will had just 12 points. Off the ball, Pierce missed. Chris Wilcox right there for the great putback. 24 to 16, Boston. Now, Brooke Lopez coming off of a season high 38 point performance. That's a bucket and one more at the line. He had 28. Rondo to Kevin Garnett, two of his 20, also had 10 boards. It was an eight point lead for the home team who comes in winners of two straight. Now, Rondo, the theft. And uncontested after missing the first, gets the second to go. Part of a 12 0 Boston run. They led by 14. Rondo, another steal, gets it to Michael Petras, filling the shoes of Ray Allen in a big way tonight. He had 11 points, 46 to 30, Boston. On to the third quarter we go. Brandon Bass serves up a plate of rejection, and then it is Rondo to Paul Pierce. And isn't that the truth? 72 to 49, Boston in control. Rondo. The great feed to Pierce. He would make the free throw and make it a 79-53 advantage for the Seas. Then it's Chris Wilcox giving it back to Rondo. With nobody around him, Rondo knocks down two of his 14. Coming off a triple-double the other night, he also had 13 assists, so a double-double on a Friday for Rondo. Paul Pierce had 27 for the Celtics, 97-76 to Boston. And then one more for good measure. Pierce to Chris Wilcox. Oh, big time jam by the big fella. Boston wins it 107-94, putting an end to New Jersey's three-game road winning streak. Meanwhile, Boston, all of a sudden rolling, they've won three straight games.